Hey there, my Langley Leopard artists and all my artists out there. I hope everybody's doing great, and I'm so proud of you guys for watching this video, and I hope you get ready to make something fun, kind of realistic, pretty cool, a little hard, but I know you can do it. So we are going to, since it is March, and it's really going to start raining a lot, um, and March and April, May, getting ready for summer, and so all of our flowers grow, I thought it would be fun for us to draw a picture of a person holding an umbrella. But you're going to see the umbrella from the back, and then the person. Um, but I really want you guys to work on today details, 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 size. Same on both sides. Um, and I want you thinking like an artist and problem solving, okay? So I just said a lot. So we're going to work on size. We're going to work on proportion. We're going to work on details. We're going to work on patterns. All right. So are you ready? Here we go. So I am doing mine with pencil, I, I mean with marker, and I definitely want you to do yours with pencil today because you might mess up with the first part of the umbrella because it's a little tricky because I'm trying to make it look like um, it's not flat. So the first thing I'm going to do is up kind of in the top, in the top middle, so top middle, I'm going to put a top, a dot. That is the middle of my umbrella. Then I'm going to make a line that goes through that dot. So I'm going to do one there. And I'm going to do one here. And I want to try to make all my parts pretty much the same. And you're going to do four lines. Okay, so make sure those are kind of even. Then I'm going to take these and I'm going to curve them a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to do this there. And I'm going to do this here. And I'm going to do this one here. So if you notice that it's kind of looking like your umbrella is bigger or wider, you might have to change a little bit and that is okay. That's why you're doing it with pencil first. When Mrs. Jones did this the first time, mine was not the right size, so that's why we're working on size today. All right, and then here we go, last one. Well, I got lucky, mine worked out pretty good. All right, so that's your umbrella. Now, usually when it rains, even if you have an umbrella, you wear a long coat or a raincoat. So there's kind of my long coat. And then I'm going to make just pants. Okay, the legs. And then I'm going to make my rain boots. Now this part, I think, is the fun part because I'm going to make my rain boots. Rain boots are kind of big, so there's one set of rain boots. And then this part, you can't see the rain boots because they're going to be like on the other side, if that makes sense, because you're facing that way. All right? So now I have my person, but it looks like my person's standing in the air. So I'm going to make it look like they're on walking outside. And when it rains... It's fun, especially if you're in boots, to jump in big old puddles. So maybe I'm going to make a big puddle. Now, this is where I want you guys to decide how you want to finish your picture. Is this going to be in the grass with flowers outside? Are you going to have cars and buildings in your background? Are you going to have trees in your background? Are you going to design your umbrella with patterns. This is where I really want you guys to make this picture your own and finish it your own. I finished mine like this, but you don't have to finish yours like this. Mine actually is not finished. I haven't decided what I want down here and up here. So this week, I just want us to draw our person 
in the puddle and do our designs, and then we're going to decide what type of background we want, okay? All right, my Langley artists, I hope you guys have fun. You can practice this on your own. We're going to do it together with Zoom. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you. Have a good day. Bye.